Good morning and welcome to Lilybrook. Off number nine again. Winter League is occupying the first tee you know, throughout the, the entire winter, so I'm, I'm just stuck with the back nine, unless I want to go out after 12. Now, I don't know about you, but do you ever lose confidence in your long irons? I certainly do, and I'm at that position right now. So, when I'm playing practice rounds in the winter, I like to mix it up. So today I'm just going to hit irons. So I can't reach greens, so I'm not worried about the score. But also because I can't reach greens, that puts a little bit of test on my pitching. So I'm looking at improving my long irons and improving my pitching. Now, you don't want to be too hard on yourself doing this. It's an exercise, it's not a scoring situation, so don't worry about the score. If you're hitting your pitches more or less the right distance, the right direction, that's just fine. With the long irons, I shall be thinking about tempo and kicking in this right knee to stop me swaying away from the ball. Now, the reason why we go wrong with long irons is because we try and hit the cover off the ball. So, I'm going to be working on my tempo. Get my tempo right and I'll start hitting the ball right. Let's go on the tee. I think we'll start with a thin. Well, I want to set up pitching opportunities. So I'm just going with a six iron for this. I think you can see from the first tee shot that this is something that I really need to uh, concentrate a bit on. There might be a problem with that. Not the opening hole we wanted, but at least I'm right. I do need to practice these long irons and some pitching. Now the one thing I've noticed straight away is that I'm letting, letting out shaft. So what I gotta do is get down the shaft a bit to where it's supposed to be. Right, we'll give that a go. That proves it. First time I got down the shaft, I've hit a golf shot. A bit low, granted, and I'm really quite stiff this morning, so uh, it's not brilliant, but that is better. Right, we've had a week of very hard frost, freezing fog. This is the first proper clear day. We're on a temp, so I'm guessing that this green is still a little frozen. I've got 80 yards. Fifty degree. Oh, 
Jesus. That was a real proper knife. Don't know if I lost balance or whether it was the upslope or whether I had a sway. I haven't a clue. But uh, that's why we're out here practicing. Well, I skipped the chipping on 10. Couldn't be bothered to chip to the temporary green in the bucket hole. I skipped 11, you know what it is, 92 yards, temporary green, bucket hole. This one, I've hit a little tight to the hedge, so I'm gonna be chipping for my second shot anyway. I think I had the ball a bit too far back in the stands, but that's what we're out here for. Right, the ball is absolutely plastered. The lie is miserable. I'm gonna try an eight iron across there. Remembering to get down the shaft a little bit. Now as I'm making adjustments, let, pulling in shaft, I'm obviously going to be not bottom, bottoming out in the same place. So I've got to be aware that I've got a shorter club in my hand now. It hasn't gone very far, but that was just pure filth. It was, it was never going to go very far. We're back in play. Got a chance to get on the green in three. Yeah, this isn't going very well today, but I'd rather it didn't go very well than I know what to fix. I'm talking about fixing it. I got a lesson at 12 o'clock in the studio, so uh, we'll be able to talk about it then. And I think I might get one of these layers off. I've got three layers on today and it's a it's a bit much because it's, it's actually quite warm for a change. Right, I got 78 to a back flag. Now, not only have I got to get the ball up there, I'm on such an upslope, I need plenty of club. So I'm actually going pitching wedge. Yeah, I got some serious problems today. I mean, that was a knife as well. Could be an interesting chip. Well, if there's a place on this hole you don't go, it's up the bank at the back of the green. This chip is absolutely impossible from this thick rough. Well, maybe not that impossible. Depends if you know what you're doing or not, I suppose. I just got up to 13 and I had to strip off. So the jumper and shirt off and I took the skin off. So I've only got one layer on my arms now and two layers on the body. So perhaps that'll help. Now, I'm playing rubbish, but I'd rather you saw me playing rubbish. You know, if this was yet another, oh, here comes Simon, he's gonna shoot somewhere between two under and two over his handicap again. Well, that wouldn't be real. We all have bad days. I'm having a bad day. So what? I'm here to practice, I'm here to figure out what's wrong. And then when I go have my lesson, I can tell him. I can tell him everything that I've done today and hopefully he'll fix it. Right, five iron for this hole. I tell you what, you gotta laugh sometimes. But I'd rather you saw this than me tell lies and pretend that I'm playing good golf all the time by deleting this video and starting again. Let's carry on. Eight iron seems a lot of club, but it is uphill. And I don't wanna pay a visit to the front bunker. 
and of course I can use the backstop to bring the ball back and there it is there's the pitch mark balls come back now this is a shorter version of the putt I had last week because of all the frost they haven't been on the greens cutting new holes so uh, this for the first birdie of 2022 well, really I haven't had one yet Right, I can't get over the top of my four iron, even if I hit an absolute beauty. But I'm told there's an old boy here, obviously gets a shot on the hole. But what he does is he goes nine 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 nine. Because if you can't get over the top, you've got to take the steep route up the north face of the Eiger rather than the low road down here to the left. So I'm going to try that. I mean, I haven't found a club in the bag I can hit yet, so let's try the nine. So I've hit that straight over the ladies tee, onto a flattish area, and we'll try 9-9 from there. Well the ball was semi-plugged, just as I thought it would be on this slope, it's just sure very rain. very soft up here, which is another reason why you hit over the top. Not because you just don't want to walk up here, but because it is so soft. And I wasn't sure where to hit it, to be honest. Shot Tracer didn't want to play ball. Well, I think I could have got there with the wedge, but instead I went with a nine, and it is right over the top of the flag, about 25 feet past. So the wedge would have got on the front, being just a little shy of the hole. Just over the top of the stick. I tell you what, this is stroke eight. If you're something like a 14, 15 handicapper or more, you struggle on this hole. You're hitting driver out of bounds in the trees or way down the bank here on the on the left. Why don't you try 9-9-9-9-9-9? Or don't you want to admit you're an old man? Almost. Have a clue. Right, I don't think this focuses very well into the sun, but it's nice to see the sun and it's really nice and warm now. So I think I got enough information for my lesson later about how badly I'm hitting my irons. So this will be the last hole I'm hitting irons on. Well, that's another knife right through the green. Another huge knife. This is really impossible to get up and down. Who wants to place a bet? Bit of confusion here. My well, playing partner is playing a tightless three. I am playing a tightless three. We both hit our approaches up onto the front of the green to more or less the same place. About our balls were about five or six feet apart. 
while I was Close setting up, up I'll see if I get your ball just my playing well. partner putted my ball to six inches. So now I'm under pressure because now I've got to put his ball to six inches. Yeah, okay, we played the wrong balls. Who cares? We both got pars, yeah, one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> now, when we get on to 17, the game in front is you played my ball, practicing their putting. <laughs> so we get held up, which backs us up into the game behind us. So I wasn't able to film the putting. But this goes to 12 feet. And guess what? I didn't get my birdie. Again. Oh, yes. But that's 12 feet. Got a birdie chance. But didn't get to record the putting simply because the group on the on the tee behind were waiting for us because we were waiting on the group in front. So I'm taking a very aggressive line here. And yet again, blow my birdie chance. Now I thought this was perfect, but actually it was a little bit right of perfect. Still good though. Really Cheers, well thanks for the game. Thank you. Alright guys, I've just finished my lesson indoors in the studio. So, nice and warm, jumper off, started hitting seven irons, put the dots on my seven irons so that the GC quad would pick it up. Sorry, I'm, I'm really shaky with this, aren't I? Not on the tripod. So what have I done? I've hit 47 irons. I've hit the green 38 times out of the 40. The one I missed was a bit of a pull. The other one I missed was, sorry, this is really shaky. The other one I missed was a fat. The rest of it was perfect. So being out here in the real world, I have to keep holding this with two hands, aren't I? So being out here in the real world in the cold and wrapped up and fanning around with the camera, oh, excuse me, I'm struggling a bit. In there, where I've got time, and there's no camera to fanny around with the focus and the zoom, and is it pointing the right way, and is it level, and I'm warm, I'm doing fine. It's given me a couple of reminders to get the club out wide, to tuck my right knee in to stop the sway, and to keep my height, stick my bum out a little bit, because I was a bit too straight, and it's good. And I was hitting it right out of the meat. And with a forged club, you can feel whether you miss the middle by a quarter inch. You can feel that if you're one groove low, one groove high, a quarter inch to the right or left. And I've absolutely murdered it. So now I, I, I know that I'm practicing the right stuff. So when I go to the range, I can keep doing what he's teaching me to do. The trouble is, when I go to the range after work, quite often it's right down at freezing. I mean, it is the middle of January and it's damn cold. But I know I'm heading in the right direction. So I'm going to be ready for Thailand. Cheerio!